Hey, Todd Martin here with The Walking Code. In this video, I'm going to do a quick talk on how to walk on uneven ground because I've gotten that question quite a bit lately and I want to spend just a little bit of time on it because the real concept of walking on uneven ground is going to be a combination of different concepts I cover in other videos. Walking on flat ground, walking uphill, walking downhill, or walking upstairs or walking downstairs. Each one of those scenarios uses a different technique or a different pattern of movement in the core. And when we're walking on an uneven surface like I am here, we're going to be using a combination of those sorts of motions. So I can walk from this flat surface here, I might be walking uphill, and I'm gonna use an uphill technique. If I get to a place that's very steep, then I might shift to an upstairs walking technique rather than an uphill walking technique. Likewise, when I'm walking down a hill, if it's not too steep, I can use a technique for walking down a hill where the spine actually moves forward as it goes down. Or if the ground is really steep, I can use a concept of walking down stairs, which is very different because it places on the ball and uses a different core technique, which I describe in my video on walking down stairs. And I can alternate between that stair walking motion or the forward walking downhill motion, depending on the situation. The other thing that I think is important to be aware of when you're walking on irregular surfaces is the root. And I'm gonna link the video that I just recorded on how to control your root because that is super important to be safe on irregular surfaces is controlling your root. So when you place your foot on the ground, you need to make sure you put your root on that leg before moving off. And so I control the root wherever I'm placing to make sure I am not just falling onto that leg without control. I am putting the foot down and I'm controlling the transfer of weight to that leg. I'm placing, controlling the transfer of weight. That is going to be super important to keeping safe because as you transfer the weight, your core is going to adapt to the slope of the ground, also the tilt of the ground because it might be sloping down but also sloping to the side. If you control the weight change in this fashion, then your body is going to be able to adapt to whatever that slope is. So if you're going to be doing a lot of outdoor hiking, make sure to watch my videos on uphill, downhill, upstairs and downstairs walking as well as the video on how to root so you can control your movement on irregular surfaces and keep yourself safe and keep low impact on your joints, especially going downhill. Because if we just fall down the hill, we're gonna have real excessive impact. So you wanna be placing your foot, transferring your weight, placing your foot, transferring your weight. There's no impact with that. Whether I'm going forwards or backwards, I'm placing in a controlled fashion, changing weight in a controlled fashion. And that's how we keep ourselves safe and healthy. 